Hi everyone, welcome back to Crazy Build. Today's video is about the comment provided by a supporter 3 months ago regarding the upgrade of my Hankai 12 horsepower outboard motors anode to a larger one. I finally decided to give it a try after receiving the advice when I noticed that there are few visible spots of paint peeling off and oxidation just beneath the motor cover. In the first part of the video, I will show you on how I upgrade the original anode to a bigger one. When I dismantled the original tiny little anode, I noticed that there is only minor part of it has been oxidized and I think that it does its function very well. I've done some research in the net and found out that the anode for Tohatsu 9.8 horsepower is suitable for Hankai 12 horsepower. However, the shape is rounded and slightly bigger than the original one. I will share with you guys on how I modified it to fit the mounting hole. First, match the bolt hole of the rectangular one with the rounded one. Position them in such a way that the longer part of the rectangular anode is parallel to the rounded anode's fin and then mark it with a newly sharpened pencil. Don't worry of the accuracy as we will then cut the rounded anode slightly smaller to enable us to adjust the position later. Then we will use a hand saw to cut the rounded anode. Clamp the anode on a piece of wood plank to secure it. Cut it slightly inwards the marked lines to make it smaller until the handsaw reaches the bottom. After that, cut it horizontally to remove the unwanted part completely. Perform the same steps in the other two phases. Halfway cutting the new anode, I noticed that it is quite difficult to perform the work due to the slanted anode when clamped. Then I corrected the problem by adding a thin sheet of metal plate under the anode before clamping it to make it as straight as possible. The sewing work is much easier now. After cutting is completed, I move on to test on the motor to see whether it fits or not. Looks like it does not fit perfectly on the mounting hole. It's because of the cut areas having bumps that are not flush with the outer side. Now we move on to file down the bumps.
Make sure to file until it is completely flat and flush with the outer side. Finally, after checking that the anode fit nicely in the mounting hole, let's install it. Here I need to remind you all that there is an orientation to install it. The fin that is slanted will be facing inside of the motor, while the straighter side needs to face outside. This is because if installed inversely, the propeller will hit the anode's fin. Before tightening the bolt, make sure that the fin is parallel to the motor bottom fin. Make sure that the propeller does not hit the anode. Yes, it's perfect! Let's move on to part 2 that is, repair and repaint the oxidized spots. First, dismantle the spark plugs and cables to ease our work. I forgot to cover the motor with a cloth which I have done so later on before continuing to the next step. Then I use a scraper to remove the loose paint and oxidation residue as much as possible. See, the loose paint peeled off easily. Don't worry of being over scraping as we will paint the surface easily later. Our main goal is not under scrap it, where we will leave oxidation that will affect other spots later, even though we have painted it. Then, using an anti-grid sandpaper, lightly sand the area without painting to remove the oxidation until you see bare metal. You can see that the white powder being sanded off, leaving shiny bare metal. To prep the surface to be painted, use spirit and a clean cloth to wipe off any excess oil and oxidized powder. Then cover the area that we don't want to be painted with masking tape and newspaper.
I'm painting the prepped surface using high temperature black paint. Also, we will be painting three coats with the first one a very thin layer. Make sure it is thin layer and you don't have to cover the bare metal in the first coat. After drying for 10 to 15 minutes, paint one thicker coat. Repeat this step for another round. Remove the protective cloth and newspaper. Install back the spark plugs and cables. That's all for today's video. Stay tuned as I will provide updates of the outcome of my upgrade and repair. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye!